Ladies and gentlemen, I am the War Boss Squee, and we are once again playing Pillars of Eternity. And before we take the rest that we so sure. graciously deserve, all of you, come on. We need to go attack the Ten Frith here and get a reward for saving us, sorry, but from a bunch of bandits. Ah, it's you, my savior. He makes a sweeping gesture to indicate the kitchen around you. It's so good to be back. Do not think I will let this go unrewarded. I've decided that you've earned the right to learn one of my most closely guarded secrets, my dearest recipe. After this, you will eat nothing else. And we've gained the recipe, savory pie. A savory pie to keep you hale and hearty. May it serve you well in your travels. Now, what do we need to do to make the damn thing? Let's see. Savory pie requires uh, grain, beer, and meat. Uh, we have one out of the three. Let's see. For 150 seconds, so three minutes? No. Uh, what is that? Uh, two and a half minutes, I think. Plus ten endurance, plus one might, plus one perception. Very nice. Let's start paying attention to some of this stuff. Like, this is plus 10 endurance and plus 2 might for 5 minutes. And I can make that. Uh, Pearl Wood Chicken is plus 10, plus 10 max endurance, plus 2 constitution for 5 minutes. Good lord. Dragon Meat Dish. Requires dragon meat. So, dragons at some point will be a thing that we, d we come across. Dragon Meat is considered a rare and exotic treat for fairly obvious reasons that it is not easy to obtain... Many tales and rites of passage have formed up around the idea of consuming the raw flesh of these beasts. And I'm sure surviving the experience. Uh, but we can also make scrolls. What does that require? Why does it say not, I don't have enough copper? Oh, because I just spent some... That's right. So that's some nice spells there. And we can do potions as well. See, push of Eldritch Aim, plus 15 Accuracy, Minor Regeneration. Ooh. Yeah, 40 plus... 40.3 Endurance over 12 seconds, so... Oh. It's like... 3 Endurance per second? That's... Not a lot. But, I suppose if you had high survival skill and got better bonuses, that would actually be pretty good. All right, so that's all taken care of. What quests do we have? Let's see. We've got visions and uh, visions and whispers, and that's it. Let's close those down. Well, we do know that we need to grab ourselves a nap. Greetings. Let's grab a bed. Let's see. And we can't afford any of the good ones, so let's just simply go with the free one. Your sleep is restless and fevered, assaulted by hisses and whispers, blanketed with a suffocating anxiety. You open your eyes to awaken and find yourself in front of Gilded Vale's gallows tree, the creaking of its ropes growing louder in your mind until the sound is deafening. I love the fact that they've actually named their tree of horrors. Hanging from the tree is an old dwarf woman whose face is shriveled inward like moldering fruit. Her head hangs limply to one side. As you look at her, she looms larger and larger in your mind until she is mere inches from your face. Suddenly, her head snaps up, and her eyes open, and they are empty, and behind them is nothing, and behind them is a vast nothingness that makes your stomach drop. Her mouth speaks, her mouth slowly parts, and a, with a gust of rancid air, she speaks a word, Watcher. You jolt awake, the foul smell of, your, of the dwarf woman's breath still per permeating your nostrils. Sweat runs down your face in thick droplets, and your skin is soaked from head to toe. You remember the woman. You remember seeing her decaying face when you spoke with the magistrate. He called her an animancer. Though it fills you with a new, queasy apprehension, you feel a strange compulsion to see this woman once more, if only to confirm that she is truly dead. And the party gains 645 experience. Lovely. And Aeowith has leveled up. Beautiful. Let's see. We'll throw some points into lore. And... I don't really know what else to give the man, to be honest. Probably 
survival. And we'll save the next point. And he gets a level 2 spell. Actually, he gets 2 spells. So, I looked over these spells before. And there's a couple of really good ones. A Necrotic Lance is a good uh, single target damage spell. And there was another one I liked. Ah, bugger word. I think it's a level 1 spell. Uh, Ghost Blades. Yeah, foe area of effect, 21 to 32 pierce damage, hobbled. And if they're hobbled, the rogue gets sneak attack. Yes, very much, yes. All right. I don't know why that decided to happen. Now, let's quickly... Yes? Edit the grimoire. So we've got that. Let's drop... I like minor missiles. Not a big fan of Sunless Grass, to be honest. Requires you to be right up front, close and personal. So, let's kick... Alright, how do I do this? Oh, ah. Uh my notes, but how do I put that in my grimoire? Click on a spell on the right panel to remove it from the grimo grimoire. Okay. So, we'll take that. Okay. Oh, there we go. And now we... There we go. We're learning. Learning is fun. I shall. Oh. I'll stop until like 8 o'clock, and then around, right around 8 o'clock, it just died off from being frantically busy to the point where you didn't think you were going to be able to keep up to... Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. So it has left me just a little bit worn out and tired. But... All things considered, still a good day. Yeah, there she is. How do I get to her? Ah, there we go. Caldara de Baranzai, I think. The squat, distended body of an elderly dwarf woman dangles from a thin, crooked bow that sags at the tug of her noose. The bloated purple flesh of her neck, worn away in patches like moth-eaten moth -eaten linen, bulges over the rope that suspends her, and her lifeless head lolls forward rigidly from one side to the other when the breeze shifts. Such a lovely image. You perceive a faint glow around her that casts no light on its surroundings, but there's a tepid warmth to it, and you feel somehow that you could reach out and touch it, not with your hands, but with some aspect of yourself that has no worldly dimension. You take a deep breath, clearing your mind, focusing on your objective, as you exhale, you feel yourself spreading out towards the hanging woman, perceiving all that lies between you and her with new, unfound, unfamiliar awareness. Once you've expanded enough to reach her, there's a sudden jolt to your mind, a ringing, electric surge of images and words and sounds. Involuntarily, you shut your eyes and feel yourself being pulled down to some deeper consciousness in a space occupied only by you and the hanging woman. And when you open them again, she is staring at you with eyes clouded in a milky fog. Her body is still swaying in a wind you no longer feel from a tree that stands planted in a misty void. The woman gives you a slow nod of her head, the rope creaking as she does so, and she smiles at you. Have you come here for me, dear? Or have you gotten lost? Ah, uh, it is both, I think. Yes? I swear to God, she sounds like my old Polish grandmother. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... Am I imagining this? No, I think not. A pity that. It would be simpler. A mercy even. Do not have to wander anymore, no? Alas, we are here, you and I. Wherever here may be. How are you able to speak to me? Is that what we're doing? Perhaps it just seems that way. 
perhaps it is the easiest way for your mind to make sense of it. I think it is a very good choice. I need to understand something that's happened to me. She nods, a look of pity on her face, as though consoling a child. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and a watcher you will stay. And here's my question. If it, all it takes is surviving a near-death experience, or... I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking. Maybe you actually have to, like, briefly die for this to work, but you think there'd be more of them. What's a Watcher? What, indeed. Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I. Not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair, and here we are visiting you and I, and it reminds me of better times. Souls pass on, some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it, sometimes more than they were before, but usually less and seldom the same. For all souls there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on, and those souls roam the world, same as you or I either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. Yeah, this last part, how no one sees them but they've forgotten how. I don't know what that means. Is it everybody had the ability to see souls? Or because we think they're dead, we forget that their soul is still trapped on Earth? I don't know. A watcher sees, though, knows what to look for. And sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. See memories even their owner can't recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder! Eh, what do you mean when all goes well? I'm imagining most of them go insane. Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. She smiles at you reassuringly, fanning out a tuft of long whiskers that sprouts from one of her cheeks. I'm guessing d female dwarves in this world do have beards if they so choose. You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you helped many in his day took up in an old keep no one would claim not far not far Kadnua, beyond the black meadow he will welcome the company i think i survived a baywick do you know why that would be did you now dear my that would be something wouldn't it could be luck could certainly be a storm can be a careless thing. Or maybe it got its hands around your soul but couldn't pick it up. A soul can be heavy if it stayed in one piece through its time. Strong souls, we call them in the trade. Cold, I mean. Cold them. Those days are all behind me, no? You said souls break apart over time? I'm assuming those are the souls of the dead, like the ghosts. Oh, yes. Entropy. Rima Gan's work. We know little of why or how. We lose pieces of ourselves when we die and pick up pieces of others when we are born again. But less than what we lost. We try to stop it with the animantic sciences, but with little success. Interesting. A very small few resist Rimargan's influence and stay together through some force of defiance, at least for a time. But they all succumb eventually, I think. 
So someone who's strong, strong-willed enough, could reincarnate back into the same person, I guess. But eventually, everybody succumbs and is reborn again, or something like that. Let's l learn a little bit about her. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. Um, did I hit the wrong button? Aruthicon Doan is granted Crucible of the Soul. Ayla looks, looks at you through narrowed eyes. Are you alright? You seemed lost just now. I'm a watcher. His arch eyebrows recede into his hood. Well, that is interesting. And I expect that explains how you survived a Baywick. Hmm? In any case, I appreciate your honesty. Since we're traveling together, it's probably wise for us to share these things. And do you know anything about watchers? Only that they're rare, and that they seem to have unique insights into certain soul conditions, as you've just demonstrated. There we go. Got some nice chunk of experience out of that as well. Seventeen and a half. The smell of pipe smoke, at once earthly and sweet, w winds its way into your nostrils. Your eyes trace the smoke to its origin, where you find a broad man with straw-colored hair leaning against a mossy rock wall, his pipe held to his lips with one meaty hand. He looks you directly in the eye, but the look is not aggressive. He regards you with a peculiar smirk. Seventeen and a half. Oh, could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. Uh, I'm sorry? The dwarf woman. You were trying to figure out whether to count her as a full person. I, I think you oughta. The hell are you talking about? The people hanging from the tree. Eighteen of them. Well, last I counted, anyway. Is that what you people do for fun around here? Actually, I think Aelith hanging them from the trees is the entertainment. The counting part is just, uh, you know, keeping score. Name's Adair. Though to the people around here, might as well be 19. Don't think I'd put you much higher than 22. 23 tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. And what makes you think I was interested in the dwarf woman? He looked at you a moment, his brow arched, his smirk broadens. I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. Twice I refilled my pipe. You never so much as blinked. Your mouth was so slack I took you for a radrick at first. Possible, I don't drool half as much. Ha, so you're already familiar. Still, you'll have to forgive my curiosity. Around here, we prefer to blind, turn a blind eye to our dead. I wonder why that's not voice, but the rest of it is. You know what a watcher is? Careful, friend. Best not use that word around here. Could be any number of Radrick bootlickers within earshot. Ciphers, animancers, watchers. Same thing in the eyes of folks around here. Radrick especially. They come to these parts all the time with their cures, preying on the desperate. None of them are who they claim to be. Of course, seeing you with that funny look, I'd be halfway inclined to believe you were having some kind of communion with that dwarf. <laughs> Either case, maybe I'm not 19 after all. N no offense. <laughs> and I am number four, which is a underrated movie that I quite enjoyed in theaters and am quite happy to have owned. You should go watch it. You think you're going to be hanged? Mm, I like this one. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, don't blame me. I don't have a say. You can take my word for that. The town's had it in for me for a long time now. Only fellow who ever stuck up for me, well, he's number 18 up there. My headman on the farm. Used to be my captain during the war. Now what's the town have against you? Pick the wrong god. That's what it comes down to. Used to be a lot of Vathus worshippers in Gilded Vale. That mess of rocks over there? It was a temple to him, to give you some idea. Then one day, somebody named Widewind shows up on Deerwood's doorstep. Says he's the living flesh of Aethys. Got an army with him. Suddenly, Aethys isn't so popular in these parts. My brother Woden and me, neither of us believed it. No way was that Aethys. He enlisted, and then I did too. But, uh, he didn't make it back. After the war, people took to punishing Aethys worshippers, accusing them of treason. It got real ugly, especially after the legacy started. Folks needed someone to blame. 
I was safe because I fought, but then this rumor starts that my brother, that he was on the wrong side. And I wasn't so safe anymore. Until my headman stepped in and said they'd have to hang him to get to me. And that certainly seems to have worked out for him. Seems that's no longer a concern. Of course, the townies don't do the hanging these days, but when Raedric's men come, they got no problem doing the pointing. Aeloth glances at you and lowers, your vo lowers his voice. You can see why I was eager to leave. Tell me about the war, dear. Saints War. Only one in my lifetime. A fella decides he's the living incarnation of Athos. Over overthrows Reed Surus. Marches on Deerwood. So we gave him a Deerwood and hello. What's a Deerwood and hello? We blew him up. <laughs> I mean, one thing I did notice the last time. He can repeat that repeatedly. We blew him up. We blew him up. We blew, we, we blew him up. <laughs> oh, that's just so funny. And who is Athos? God of rebirth and redemption. Formally, anyhow. Maybe they call him something different where you're from. Let's see, we got other questions. Why was your headman hanged? Got involved. Radix sent his man, men down here the other day. Said they had on good authority that someone in town was working with Kolsk. Plotting Raedric's overthrow. Said if he didn't come forward right then and there, they'd hang every last one of us. No one was coming forward. So, Swithin, that's my headman, he steps up and he says it's him. They took him at his word. He sighs and shakes his head, his eyes fixed on the tree. Bound to happen sooner or later. Not for plotting against Raedric, then for protecting me. And who's Kolsk? Someone who got tired of all the hangings. He's on the run now. Probably will be till they catch him. If you're next to be hanged, what are you still doing here? <laughs> Drinking, mostly. I love this guy. Point of fact, I'm on my way out. Just haven't figured out where I'm going yet. Not a whole lot of places out there that don't think Waden's legacy started with Wadewin. Well, you can come with me. Where are you heading? Some place called Cad Nua. There's an old watcher there who might be able to help me. Might be able to help me. I seem to remember hearing something about that years ago. He tamed that place. People would seek him out for all kinds of things. Troubles of the soul, questions for the departed. Of course, that was back when you didn't have to say Watcher with a hush on your breath. A man such as that, there'd be things I'd want to ask him. Don't know why I never thought of it before. Not sure how I feel about setting out with a stranger. And a strange one at that. But, truth be told, you might be the only one in town who wouldn't feel some relief seeing me swing from that tree. There's a fine reason, if I ever heard one. All right, then. Guess I'll do some sightseeing. As long as you're not the one picking the sights. <laughs> All right, so we now have Edder. Hey. Let's see. Edder is a fighter. Level third fighter, for that matter. He's got Constant Recovery, Defender, which is plus two enemies engaged, minus five deflection. So he gets more area of uh, attacks of opportunity, but eh, he takes more hits. Uh, fighting Spirit requires Endurance below 50%. Gives him plus seven, actually, plus 15 damage for 20 seconds. Uh, okay, that's passive. I was wondering about that. Uh, knockdown and Second Wind. Which is once per encounter, plus 53 endurance. And he's got a talent called Rapid Recovery. Uh, 37.8 endurance over 45 seconds. It's a passive. So yeah, he gets five point, almost 6 endurance per every 3 seconds. So that's just an addition to his normal, uh, normal recovery. What are you armed with, pal? He's got a saber that's uh, 15 to 22 damage. Would the sword be better for him? No. No, it would not. What about the axe? Nope. Plus 20% sharp. Oh, so it does extra damage because it's sharp. That makes sense. Sabers with the curved blade are nasty little weapons. Let's see. He's got Saint's War Armor. 
damage reduction 7, slash 9, pierce 8, freeze 9. I still haven't figured out what those three mean. Uh, plus 3 damage reduction against pierce. Grant second chance upon his consciousness once per rest, which means he automatically revives with 30 endurance, which is nice. And it's enchanted twice. So, okay, so second chance and pierce proof. And pierce proof is, I think, the extra th plus three damage reduction against piercing attacks. So what else could I give this thing if I wanted to? Not quite a few, actually. Don't know what any of it means, but... Cave coral, diamonds, primal rock, and lots of copper pieces. Plus two resolve, not bad. And proofing. Okay, so you can only do it once you can't stack them. That's plus three for damage reduction for Pierce. Not a lot of options for that. But I suppose kicking it up to Legendary would be fairly impressive. Plus eight damage reduction. Good lord. All right, so let's fix our formation up real quick. I'm going to put you here and you here. All I have to do is set hey. your... Oh. Class behavior, aggressive, and defensive. All right, good. I hope that works the way I think it does. Well... All right, then. There were a few things I wanted to do, but let's take a look at this temple instead. I haven't been in here before. I think everybody's level 3, right? Yeah, level 3, level 3, level 1. But it shouldn't take long to get to level 2. Then level 3, nice. And we have somebody lying on the ground here. I haven't been in here for must be five, six years. It used to be real nice, bright, warm. It's like, help me. A man lies resting against the wall, lit by the dim illumination of the fading sconces. He has a gaunt, fox like aspect, and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sleeves soaked with blood. It gives you an anxious. Anxious glance as you near, his face features twisted with pain. Have a care if you mean to go in. He casts a quick look towards the doorway to his left. This place is not so empty as I thought. He angles, he angles a look up at her. Paying your respects, Athosian. He manages a pay, pained grin. A little risky, isn't it? I think what the townsfolk would say. Safer down here than up there, even with the rats as big as they are. A faint edge of hostility belies Edder's playful tone. This temple isn't what it used to be, probably for the best. Time is moving as they are. He groans and shifts position, wincing. I'm no looter, if that's what you're thinking. Not one of his types, either. Wharton jerks his chin towards Edder. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm clawed up for it. Maybe you'll have better luck. Better luck with what? The man points a finger upwards. These ruins around us used to be a temple of Ethos, the Scattered God, a grand temple at that. His worshippers have come from all over the Deerwood, from Red Cirrus even. Not so much from Red Cirrus these days. Until the war, of course. Even then you'd get some of the stubborn ones, the ones that couldn't quite get it through their heads that their god was dead and gone. I huh. wonder if you're a paladin you get a special uh, comment on that. You get to the point. As you like. Once the legacy started, Lord Radic decided that he'd been too lenient on the Athosians. He had his people going and put them all to the sword, left them down there buried under a heap of rock. Heretics or not, their deaths didn't stop the legacy. Didn't do much of anything at all. They didn't deserve to go like that, chopped down in their god's house. If you can get down there and find the remains, maybe we can finally give them a proper burial. Wharton breathes out. No small task. There's a coin in it for you, if you need motivating. Halos' cautious expression softens. A pleasant surprise to see that someone around here has a shred of respect for the dead. Uh, I'll find him. 
Actually, I have some questions first. Uh, why can't you do this yourself? Well, I tried. I only got a short ways in before I got in over my head. Horton grimaces. I haven't raised a blade in a long time. Turns out it isn't something you can just pick up again. You look like you can handle yourself. Who are you, anyway? Wharton offers a weak grin. Name's Wharton. I've lived in Gilded Vale long enough to remember how grand it used to be. He shrugs and looks away. Used to help the temple sometimes. Bring supplies, that's all. And won't Lord Raedric mind us digging around down here? Wouldn't go telling him about it. Living in these places, it's not good for anyone. It is quick and quiet, and we can do right by those priests without raising a fuss. And I'm not going to ask about loot. Seems slightly blasphemous. All right, I'll do it. Then by the flame, I owe you a good turn. But listen, the temple's been sealed off for so long it's crawling with creatures. But if you get past them, the priests would have been down on the lower floor. They'll all be still. They'll they'll be be there still if they're anywhere. Good lord. Those priests had all kinds of secret chambers, switches in the walls, tricks, sconces, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out and take care down there. We don't want to have to send someone else down after your remains. I'll be here by the stairs and keep a lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up some. Alright. Easy does it. All right, so which way do we want to go? Let's go this way first. For no other reason than because we can. Yeah, spider. That's just a spider. I think that would be Let's okay. Go. Yeah, that was that was simple enough. Keeping an eye out. Oh, hello. We have things. The initiate's note. This parchment is relatively intact, but the ink upon it has faded. You can only make it a few patches of careful, tidy script. Uh, visitors to the ritual floor. Rectrix Obrika says, Redemption even for those forgot and struck the largest bell first rather than the second. The rest is illegible. So we'll grab that. And we have something over here as well. Camping supplies. Eh, don't want those. I've already got four, and I can only carry four, so. You know what? I'm going to change up the formation here a little bit. Put you guys back here. Put you on point. That way she can spot things, and I can pull her back if it gets too nasty. Of course, with two fighters, I don't know how much trouble we could possibly get into. What the hell? A will of wisp. I don't know what that is. Ah, oh, nice. Three pieces of Adra. Nice value. And some copper. Oh, great. There's two will o' wisps there, actually. You need to come back. Oh, that's a neat little trick. Hey there. Sure. Sure. Let's. Oh. When a party member is knocked to zero endurance, they are knocked out. It means they're out of the fight. Does that bloody thing teleport. Keep your guard up. Oh, I guess it did. Slightly annoying. Sprained wrist. Minus 15 deflection. Really? Seems kind of... Let me look up here real quick. What the hell happened there? Thing hit pretty damn hard, I'll say that much. Now wait a minute, wait a damn minute. Ah, 
Oh, I see what happened. Okay, so the will was bolted Jira and confused her. And when confused, looks like Edder took her down. Is that by accident or by intention? Huh. That's very interesting. I'll have to watch out for that. Do I need to hey. fix your AI a little bit there, pal? Just put you on hold ground. Yeah, I still think aggressive is the best way to do it. Of course. Well, that person took off. Okay, what do we got here? This parchment is worn and tattered, and the ink upon it is faded. In this time of hardship, must have as much faith in ourselves. All right. Well, seeing as how uh, Jira got the crap kicked out of her, let's go burn one of our camping supplies and then promptly pick up a new one. Can't possibly see why that would go wrong. Why don't you get a camp camping bonus? Is it just because you're level one, maybe? I don't know. I don't know at all. Many questions that I don't have answers to. There we go. They'll never know I'm here. All right, let's just check in our formation here. Ah, just one spider. That should be too much of a problem. Oh, that's actually a lot of spiders. Actually, you know what? Let's go. Target the big one real quick, please. Let's go. Now let's get the. There we go. Bad spiders. Don't have anything for me either. Keeping an eye out. Ah, another one? Let's go. Oh. That's more like it. Much better. Nice and quiet. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Brown, the red brown smears flake away under the toe of your boot. Yeah, blood stains tend to do that when they dry out. What we got over here. Ooh, all kinds of goodies. And hello, big guys. Maybe we should kill the whelp first. Let's go. Actually, Let's no, go. Change. Oh, what? Let's go. Is he dead? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, now he is. Jesus. We can rock the casbah on that one. And we got a free ear out of it. How nice. Keeping quiet. Okay, what do we got here? Got Monsters of the Dead Fire Ar Archipelago, which I'll have to read at some point. Uh, Durin Bro and some copper pieces. Very nice. Ah, Let's go. Scalder. Let's go. Very nice. That is working out phenomenally well. And we got some more ears. How lovely. To his grace, I write to implore. The rest of his letters crossed out in several places, then abandoned altogether. A fine sword. Ooh. Very nice. It's actually better than what I'm using. Huh. 
It's actually a lot better than what I'm using. It's not as fast, though. It's plus 4 accuracy, plus 15% damage. Let's think about this for a second. So, actually went down a bit. That's from 41... to 48. That's not bad, though. More damage, though. Eh. I'll try it out, see how it works. I I'm wondering if it was a mistake to choose a uh, a weapon focus this early on. I don't know. I just don't know. Steady does it. Got another book and some more copper pieces. What is this? These prayer scrolls are coated in a thick layer of grime and dust. I actually thought those were wine bottles. Ah, there's probably something in here. Uh, no, actually. Consider it done. Give me a real challenge. And we've got a war hammer. It's not too shabby. Don't know what I'd do with it, but whatever. Not coming across any of those secret things yet. The Great Western Stag and Book of Verses. Uh, Book of Prayers is what you expect to find in a temple. Let's come around here. Oh, hello. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, just a sneak attack alone is knocking out half their health. Every. Every party should have a rogue, and I just watched her reload that crossbow, which is amazingly good. Jeez. Yeah, let's see. 25 pierce damage off the crossbow. Then 17 pierce damage from the sword, uh, from uh, Arutha. He interrupted it so it couldn't attack. Ahloth does six damage. Edder gets in there. And then, uh... <laughs> Edder hits it for 20 damage and kills it. I don't know, that's the first fight. Oh, jeez, that's way down there, isn't it? No, Jira snuck, snuck attack for 32. Good lord. That woman's frickin' nuts. Nice I like and her. quiet. I like it. You want to go over there and take a look at that? Vermin have scoured these plates. The mold still grows in green-black clumps across the table. Got a lot of skull during it. There's a... Oh, no, it's part of a pillar. I was like, what is that right there that is not uh, resin? I hear water. Where is our water here? And what do we have here? Cannot disarm the trap? No. You know what you need, my dear? You need more lockpicks. Oh, still can't do it. Really? What is your skill at, darling? Oh, uh, mechanics of three. What about you? Mechanics of two. Huh. Would giving you more lockpicks help, maybe? Don't really want to uh, trigger that if I can't ha can't help it. Huh. Trigger it. Oh my god! F fucking murdered her! Weakened and bruised ribs. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. Yeah, no kit. Good. You know what? Resting right now. Right now we're resting. <laughs> <coughs> that was horrible, and I feel really bad about it. Oh, Jesus. 
All right, we've got an amulet of health. Max endurance. Plus 15 max endurance. Nice. Stop that. Stop that, stop that, stop that. Didn't mean to hit the compare. We've got a scroll of missiles, a garnet, and a jasper. So you get that. Actually, Aloth can have that. Let's go in the stash. Wow, traps. Not a joke. Not even a little bit. There you go, Edder. Kind of like a sun cloak, though, to be honest. Ah, oh, well. It looks really nice, but fortunately you can't have a cloak and a necklace. That is, I think, a bit of a oversight, in my opinion. If it's cosmetic, who cares? There, just in case we happen to need a spell sometime. Steady does it. Oh, Jesus, God. All right, let's think this through for a second. Okay. How may I help? Aloth, come here. Hey there. You come here. You're not in stealth mode. I'll take a peek. I say, why are you not in stealth mode? All right. Hi. Uh, that's not going to help me any. Oh, that did nice damage, so you pick that one off. Okay, Edder. Now, let's start getting some spells going here. Necrotic Lance. There we go. Let's have it out. Start killing them, please. Shall deal with this one. Lava be on seek. There we go. That's not so bad. Get a lot of ears out of that, I guess. I shall be discreet. Oh, come on. Everybody be discreet. Right. Thank you. A haze fills the air, coalescing steadily into a blur of dust and mist. It gathers into the outline of what appears to be a dwarf, a shimmering echo that fades in and out of sight. Now, lots of dwarves in this spirit level conversations. But stronger than sight is a sense, within you, of a powerful energy. It roils and seethes with a grief that seems to spill into your own thoughts, tainting them until the sorrow is your own. Like a crashing wave, the energy surges toward and into you, and suddenly you are elsewhere. Before you is a brightly lit stone corridor, lined with torches and gleaming crystals. You're running, your footsteps echoing off the stone around you. You forgot to tie your sandals, and they're slipping off your feet, fouling your steps. You're late. Again. The right's going to begin without you. You hear the toiling of a bell, and your spirit lifts as you recognize the familiar warped tone of the right hand. Representing the first of the dawn stars to appear in the night sky and last to fade in the dawn light. You pray fiercely that it is the first of the chimes, not the last. Huh. The light fades as does the memory, and when your eyes clear, the spirit is gone. Interesting. More shiny things. The powerful odor of spices rises from one of these dishes. Vibrant dyes and grain seeds fill the other. I'm very interested in about all this. Keeping an eye out. Now, for all the talk of secret things, I'm not finding any secret things. Okay, where haven't I gone yet? 
That looks like I pretty well explored this area, to be honest. These Scalder are nasty things. Yeah, difficulty 10 lockpick. We're not picking that open. Uh, buried secrets. Three bells hang from the stone protrusion that runs along this wall. Years of dust and grime coat the metal. There is one large bell at the center flanked by two smaller ones. Uh. So the right hand is first and last. And someone hit the big one first, so... Bells appear to be fully intact. They're made of thick iron. Look very heavy. This beer must be out of the ordinary about them. So it was the right hand one. Maybe right from the perspective that you're that they're facing. Nope. It was the right bell. The middle bell. right bell again. Huh. I don't know. Let's take a look at our notes real quick. It's its notes. Struck the largest bell first rather than the s rather than second. And wasn't there something else? Look at our journal. All right. Seems to matter spirit with the temple or memory, at least. In this memory, I recall an Athosian rite involving the ringing of bells. The first and last of these tolls apparently is the is of the right hand, which has a distinctive warped tone to it. Strange warble, so. There we go. You got to do all three of them. This is a quiet, melodic chime from all three bells before their discordant voices meet in one powerful, rising rush of sound. It seems to drive the whole. It seems to fill the whole of the temple, a driving flood of song that drowns out all other thought. As the toll. Of tolling fade, you hear a crack from the direction of the doors, and the passage of the lower level swings open. Okay. Cool. We got nice that. I dig that. Hi. Let's make sure you still had some spells left, pal. Okay, that's the way downstairs, but I don't think we're done looking around here, though. Well, to be honest, we very well might be, but there's still a room over on this section here that we haven't quite looked at yet. As well as down here. Nice and slow. So how do we get down to here? Can we? Am I misreading the map? Oh, okay, I see how it goes. Always entrance ways over that way. I'll take a peek. What do we got in here? Oh, spiders. Let's go. Well, let's go. They're just spiders. Let's go. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Steady does it. Oh god, more spiders. I would appreciate a nice big spell from you right about now. I Navaru. These ones are in but Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you can't get to it or what? 
Oh well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Jasper, a letter home. Mother, I have asked Brother Edric to carry this letter to you, for he travels to New Hamer come morning. With him goes what coin I have, and I hope it will ease the surprise of an unexpected homecoming, for I mean to follow in a few days' time. Our village is much changed, and, I th and though I do not wish for you to worry, I do not feel it is safe to remain. I know Rhetoric's Obrika will not approve, but the later letter trails off there. Huh. A per pile of furniture is branded with scorch marks. Shh. Wonder what happened. And what do we have Oh, here? hello. Oh. Well, that's anticlimactic. I suppose. Okay, so the only other part we haven't looked at is over here. Let's do that real quick. Steady does it. That's where the spiders were. And I didn't go up the stairs while I was here. Shame on me. Oh, hello. The nearby crystals light the cracked mosaic floor in shades of orange, and at certain angles the metallic symbol beneath your feet gleams gold. As you look on, the air shimmers as if with summer heat. The very dust and air seems to pull together until a thin glowing mist appears before you. In its rippling gleam, you sometimes think you can see the shape of a man, features rendered in broad strokes of air and smoke. Who are you? Your voice sparks movement. The spirit surges with a sudden blazing light, and in the next moment you're somewhere else. Your mind assailed with a sudden wave of fear and noise. You're in the chapter hall. Priests and faithful have gathered in a great crowd, spilling into the hall. Bodies press against you, surging forward to listen. Your own grief is mirrored in the faces around you. Some of the initiates are weeping. Someone has snuffed the candles, and the room is dark, save for the podium, lit from behind. Two people stand before it, lit in silhouette. A man is shouting, a voice so ragged with fear that you cannot understand what he says. But the rectrix stands calm, unmoved. Her strength will see you through all of these dark times. You can feel that hope like a spark behind your ribs. Somewhere behind you, someone begins to sing. The spirit tears itself from you with sudden dizzying force, and you find yourself back before the ruined altar swaying. The spirit fades as suddenly as it appears. These guys had a rough frickin' experience. I'll see what I can find. Oh, hello. Minor potion regeneration, bloodstone, money. Take all that. The face of the statue is as most of its features struck off along with portions of its hands. Seems somewhat unnecessary in my opinion. Alright, looks like that is everything on this floor. Let's make our way over to the second. How are you doing on spells, Aeoth? One of each, I think we'll be okay. If need sure. be, I can always just rest somewhere. I've got plenty of camping supplies. They'll never know I'm here. I have to remember, my rogue is only level one. She hasn't even had... She is going to be a bit weak in the party. Oh, speaking of which... Jira leveled up. Excellent. Okay. Mechanics to six. Absolutely. She, I think she looks really, really damn cool. Now, let's see here. Backstab. Drastic increased damage with stealth or invisibility. The rogue must be use melee or ranged weapons, but with, must be within two meters of the target. That's really nice, but two meters is pretty damn close. Actually, doesn't she have that already? I don't know. Got weapon focuses. Uh, Two-handed style. Oh, two-handed melee weapons. Crap. Hold the line. Plus one enemies engage. We don't want that. Huh. Let's see, weapon... Focus, no. Crossbow. Weapon Focus Knight gives you Battle Axe, Sword, Morning Star, and Crossbow. 
I think a knight would be using a crossbow. Let's see, marksman plus five actually against distant targets would be good. Alright, so I'm wondering about something. See, Veteran's Recovery, that's more Endurance. Runner's Wounding Shot. Oh, that's the Ranger ability. I'm guessing take Backstab. It can be useful, I think. I mean, for when it does help. From Stealth and Invisibility. Huh. Actually, you know now that I think about it, I really need to increase my Stealth a bit. There we go. I guess I'll have to do. You know, it's strange looking back. All the time I spent here growing up. Never seeing what was coming. Well, I can hardly be blamed for that. Oh, what the hell is that? Immune to disease, ground, hobbled, poisoned, sickened, and stuck. Let's go! Let's go! No, I ain't immune to sneak attack. That's for certain. Or knockdown. Now wipe that thing out pretty damn quick. Laying low. Okay, that door's closed. Let's. Oh huh. ah, boy. Let's go. Come on, get him. You know what? You need to get out of the way. Not what I meant. Down by one. Shit. Dazed. Let's go. Yeah, there's not enough room in here. Come on. Right, what do you got? That's not an idea. <coughs> oh, immune to that, huh? Apparently not. Oh, that was a fun day. Frostbite. Minus 15 fortitude, minus 8 damage reduction against freeze. As things go, I don't think that's the worst it could have been. Laying low. Give me a real challenge. Oh, nice. Uh, minor ring of protection. Honestly thinking we give this to the rogue. Not gonna lie. What do the numbers mean? Oh, space is available, I'm guessing. Yeah, we'll give you the potion regeneration as well. I see where you're going with that. There. What did I tell you? A fine Eztok. What the hell's an Eztok? Looks like a great sword to me. Uh, these long two handed swords are easily distinguished from great swords by their narrow spike shaped blades. Eztoks are not commonly used by warriors in the Deerwood, but their value against heavily armored opponents is undisputed. Let's see. 1623 pierce damage. It's two handed, slow. Plus four, actually, plus 15% damage. Hmm. We'll just stash that for now. I don't know who would use it. Uh, do I want to rest? I? Yeah, I'm starting to run low on spells. Let's, let's take a rest. Why don't you get camping bonuses? Are you just because you're not a name character and I create you myself? Or do you have to be level? I don't know. Somebody, if somebody knows the answer to that, please let me know. All right. Well, you were stealth. Why don't you get over there?
Yes. Okay, you two get in the position. Are you immune to blind? No. Arcane Assault. I don't like the fact that you can teleport. That is very annoying. I'll see what I can find. Mm -hmm. Little bastards. I guess we'll check out this room real quick. Oh, hello. Trap detected. Lots of shades. Okay, let's think of how we want to do this. Yes. Hey, let's back there. Hey there. I'll teach you a lesson. Oh god, there's four of them. Hey. That seemed to have done the trick nicely. You need to get out of there. Oh, you don't have the required athletic skill. Reload, please. Holy crap, that was a thing. Sure. The shadows are not messing around. There. Uh. What did I tell you? What we got? Ooh, Brigadine. That's all you, baby. Nice and quiet. And that's trapped? Of course it is. It's not telling me what kind of trap though. Well, doesn't matter what kind of trap. Cloak of Methosian Priest, plus nine will. Ooh, very nice. I think you are most deserving of that. Whoa! What the shit? The hell did you come from? Yeah. Oh, I don't think I like you very much. There we go. Oh. Guess we got him. I'm also guessing he didn't like us digging around in his uh, sarcophagus. Okay, anything else in here of interest? I think it was just those two things. Alright. What do you got here? You've got max endurance bonus plus 15 max endurance. This plus nine will. Huh. I don't know. All right, what's his endurance at? It's pretty damn high, to be honest. Goes down to 91. Yeah, it looks really cool, though. Yeah, I think we'll keep you with this. But let's hold on to the cloak. You can have the ring. You can have the armor. Oh, it looks nice, too. I 
Alrighty. That was not a fun fight. And Aloth actually finished the damn thing off, which is good for him. Hello, Mr. Phantom. Are you all by yourself? Let's go! What a shame. Oh, come on. Did you kill him already? Yeah. Hmm. I think once things start getting close, you're going to start switching weapons. Let's go. Oh, see, that's better. And he actually dropped something. Nice. He dropped spirit residue. Huh. Probably a crafting thing. I shall be discreet. Uh, let's see what we got here. Who? Hey. Show them how it's done. Huh. Uh. Yeah. All right, pal. I need you to help out uh, Edder here. Teleported. Oh, what are you immune to? Let's go. Better. down. Come on. There we go. Whew. Not remotely a fun fight. I'm just going to need a rest before Keep too long. Quiet. His health is getting low too. Isn't this something? What we got here? It's not within our natures to forgive. Those who seek redemption seek a long ro long and winding path, a road which takes us down into the very hollows of our soul and asks us to reflect upon the fractured aspects of ourselves. Very nice. Ooh, money. Money, money, money. Yeah? Let's get you back on your crossbow, by the way, darling. Sure. How doing on his spells. He's out of level two spells, but I think he'll be okay for the mm -hmm. moment. One more fight should be enough before we rest, I think. It's not going to any rooms yet. Well, it looks like it's going downstairs, so I'll check the store. Okay, Jira, I want to get up here. Thank you. Oh, hello. S yeah, 
Yeah, I don't like nothing about any of that. Hi? Okay, that immediately just blew one away. Let's hear it for the powers of magic. Another one at AO. There we go. Whew. Now yes. I think he's out of spells. <laughs> Good Lord Almighty. Keep an eye out. Right. What are you? Here, a grinding noise means your feet and the rush of water. I'm guessing that's down to the lower level some more. Let's go check it out. Actually, you know what? Let's take this opportunity to rest. Still not a resting bonus for her. Ooh, plus an actually against spirits? Uh, yeah, much, much rather. Why doesn't he get that? Huh. That's weird. I definitely need to read more into the resting bonuses. There's a lot I don't seem... I don't know. You wake to the sensation of being shaken, and you open your eyes to see Edder standing over you, his hand jostling your shoulder. He looks concerned. Your eyes are heavy and your vision blurred, the vague unease of unremembered nightmares clouding your thoughts. You're not sure you've slept at all the previous night. Hey. Hey. You're awake? Good. You were... Uh... You were kind of thrashing around, eyes rolled back in your head. You were shaking. I'm trying to snap you out of it for a long time now. I was going to have to get a bucket of cold water. You, uh, you don't seem like you get much rest at night. You got those dark circles under your eyes. Not lately. At night there are dreams and whispers. Well, it's the watcher thing, man. I'm sure it just takes some time to adjust is all. I'll try to let it sort itself out. You'd better wake up faster next time. Trust me, you don't want that bucket of cold water. Well, considering where we are, take a peek. I don't think I'd want the bucket of anything from this place. Ah, it's just some oozes. Let's go. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, she's still got her swords attached. Oh, that seems to be doing just fine at the moment. Alright, I can work with that. Ooh, a gleaming silver key. Hello. Anything else down here? Oh, it looks like just that. Oh, I wonder what the key goes to. Also, memo to self. Yeah. Back to the crossbow, darling. Sure. Down to be some. Yeah. Down into dark. Oh my God! There's four of them. Uh Yeah, this is so not a good idea. How may I help? Any left? You can go over there, hey. that's how you can help. Can you get in between them? Yes you can. Alright, cool. Yeah! Yeah! Come on out. Hey. That was rather unnecessary. Hey. Ah, 
and rough. I'll get the next one. Oh, Pearson hobbled. They're not immune to Pierce, so that's good. You guys are all lined up. Navaru, be on seek. Shit. Hey there. Navaru, be on. Really need to get you to drink a potion. Oh, that's annoying. Hey, when did you start getting traps? I think I missed something rather important. Our is Damn it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's. Well, that could have gone better. Shadow spirits are no joke. These ones are in for a walloping. Well, I'm gonna rest anyway. Come out of spells. Lava beyond seek. Never mind. Jeez. These things are just not friendly. I'll see what I can find. Crumpled note. This letter is fairly intact, though the parchment itself has been crumpled. Jester, I know the temple baths boast great healing properties and that your back ails you still. Still, I would ask you, if you're going to indulge for the greater part of the day, you give over your key to the sanctum to someone else for safekeeping. This is not the first time we've had to force to wait to perform the day's rites, and Retrix Obrica is often too far below to hear our knocking. Interesting. I think I was supposed to come up here first, actually. Another book. These are in prayers. Scroll of Restore Minor Endurance. Some lock picks and some gold pieces. Nice. There's. Okay. Can you use that? Yeah, it looks like you can. All right. Okay. So let's stick this in your quick item slot. Where did these come from? Once triggered, there was a fl large spherical plume of flame towards the designated point where it burst with explosive. Mm. Yeah, let's uh, let's make that happen. Don't remember grabbing those. Okay, anything else around here? No. Uh, I'm gonna use our last campfire. Eight hours have passed. All right, cool. So, Aeoth has got his spells back. Been burning through a lot of them. These spirits are no joke. Unlocked with a gleaming silver key. Not certainly convenient. Yeah, it looks like just the one of them. Yeah. Let's go. Get him. Let's go. Let's go. You stop hitting her.
Jeez. Sure. Huh. It's a beating and a half. I'll take a peek. Maybe I should have made a priest instead. Right, looks like we're going down another level here. Eh, oozes. Not Let's really go. that concerned about oozes. That could be a problem, though. She went down again. This is getting ridiculous. These things not dead. They suddenly all pop at once. Now what do you got? You've got severe burn. Minus two dex, minus eight damage reduction against burn. I swear to God, this is getting frustrating. Sure. Sure nice would be nice if quiet. I could give her some bonuses. Still what? The still dark water is reflective as black glass. Interesting. Okay, that we can deal with. Show them how it's done. Although that might be a problem. Golder King, I beg your pardon very much. Okay. I'll teach you. Eh, I think we're doing right. Somebody's got knocked down too. That's Come on, get him. Let's go. Get your blood. For crying out. Oh, he did. His armor kicked in. What do I gotta do to kill this guy? Everybody, kill this thing, and please. And that's how it's done. Whew. All that for an ear. Good lord. Nice and slow. The Pilgrim's Lasting Vigil. It's a helmet of resolve of perception. Wow. The end of the Saints' War and the detonation of the God Hammer Bomb is still mourned by followers of Ethos around the world. While the conflict diminished Ethos following the Deerwood, many remain faithful to the God of Dawn and Redemption, confident that he will one day rise again. Many followers make annual pilgrimages to shrines and temples of Ethos, or to what remain of them, on the anniversary of St. Widewin's death. Interesting. Very interesting. This helmet bears the sunburst emblem of the R Red Seren army. It was likely worn by a soldier serving in the First Saints War. That is really, really cool. That was actually worth it. Alright, so let's take a look at your inventory real quick here, pal. Not too shabby. 
Yeah, that max bonus endurance is kind of a big deal for you. Okay. I almost want to give him the bigger sword. Yeah, considering some of the helmets I've seen in this game, that's not too shabby. So that's down to another level there. Huh, that is actually almost the entirety of the map searched. Interesting. Oh, there's another area down here I did not see. Nice. Ah, there's a body here. There's a lot of bodies here. What the shit? Remind me never to help kill my god again. Lost spirit. The light rises from the bones as you approach. You have a moment to register the faintest image of a standing figure, featuring a blur of mist or smoke before the world tilts. It is as you have stepped sideways and into a new life. You're racing down a flight of stairs, following a weaving circle of torchlight. Your own panting breaths are loud in your ears. Panic in your robes alike foul your steps. And you nearly stumble before a hand reaches out to steady you. Grip your arm and steady you. A fellow acolyte who smiles encouragement as you reach the bottom. You run around and pass the shallow reflection pool that marks the lowest point of the temple, following the dark shapes of the older priests as they lead the way towards the narrow hall that leads to the vault. You pass one of the torchbearers as you go. The harsh illumination of the flames reveals a familiar face. For a moment, your awareness spans time and identity, and you think Wharton has joined you here at the bottom of the temple. In the memory, he glances at you for a moment, then looks past at someone else. I'll come back once they're gone, he's saying. You're being pressed along by the crowd. And his words are growing faint. Just keep quiet. We can't take any chances. Inside the vault, golden relics gleam like welcoming stars. The memory twists, jarring you loose from one moment and plunging you into another like a flung doll. There's only darkness around you now. You think you you think yourself blinded till the knowledge settles in like your cloak. The candles have all burnt away. You n know now, too, with a sick certainty that nobody is coming. There's a crackling noise somewhere to your left. A wet slurping gurgle and a ragged sob. You cannot see, so you cannot know which brother or sister has fallen and which digs after what water a body may provide. You hear, in the faint murmuring to your right, the familiar, the familiar cadence of prayer, but you no longer recognize the words. You're too tired to do harm. The thirst is like a fire within you. Your tongue is thick in your throat, and every breath is a struggle that leeches strength from you. There is a light, they say, at the end of every bout of darkness. This one does not end. The spirit releases you and you come back to yourself in pieces. Your vision clears and the vault around you is revealed once more, cast in muted hues by the sickly illumination of the soul still drifting like fading fog. Fear wafts off the spirit in waves, fraying at your own emotions. That lying bastard, I'll see he pays for this. You feel a lashing coil of anger and fear from the soul before it floats downward to settle by the remains. It does not move towards you again. No matter how many times I see you gathering off at nothing, it doesn't get less weird. Gather the remains. You spend a few moments gathering up what you can find of the bones of the priest. It provides it proves a heavy and gruesome burden, but you manage to recover them all. Oh, I'm gonna murder the utter shit out of that guy. Steady does it. Some of the gold leaf on these relics have chipped away to reveal the wood beneath. There are tooth marks upon the bowls. There are faint scratches upon the brickwork by the stone door hinges. This rocks, the stand rocks and steadily on its base. This mechanism is broken. Left to die in the dark like animals. Yeah, sorry to loot this you guys' holy for places. A subtle touch. Give me a real challenge. Gone share. Flail one-handed fast. 12 to 17 crush damage. 
Convert grazes to hits. Fine and draining. Hello. Plus four actually plus 15 damage. 20% of damage restored is endurance. Oh. Oh my good man, you are getting that. Yes, you are. And a pry bar. I can go in the stash. What are you? What are you, precious? We have scroll of tangle feet, potion of spirit shield, two turquoise, and some copper. I'll take all that. All right, my friend. Yeah, this is still a better weapon for you. All right, let's finish this off by uh, giving Wurton a piece of our mind. Some pieces of our steel. Wrenched knee and burned. That is such a horrible way to go out. I would never want to go that way. So I guess this leads back up into... You must gather your party before venturing. Huh. Sounds familiar. This must lead us back up top. Let's let go, though. The hell am I? Oh, okay. As you step over the circle of candles, you hear a rattling clunk from the wall nearby. A door slides open with a grasping rasp of stone. I bet I know who that is. Eh, we'll get to that in a second. They'll never know I'm here. The candles flicker gently as you approach. There's a gap above the altar, lined with broken glass, where a mirror once months have been set in the wall. The candles are still burning. Not bad for a dead god. What's all this for? Redemption. And they got this whole rite for when you come of age. They take you by the hand and you descend through the temple with your eyes covered, and that's supposed to be like a wicked life. They don't tell you where you're going. <laughs> I was sweating like crazy when I did mine. They take you to that reflecting pool back there, and you're allowed to look at it so you can face your sins. Then, you come out into this room and they uncover your eyes again and everyone's there to greet you, all your friends and family. It's like you've been redeemed. You light your candle, and it burns with the others. Never had a feeling better than that my whole life. And the candles are still burning. Not bad for a dead god. I don't want to snuff out a candle. It seems improper. Easy does it. It was nice to see those candles still burning. I figured they'd have gone out by now. Oh, hello. I know where I'm at now. Very close to the exit. Let's go say hi to Wharton and crush his skull. Good day to you. I think I've sorted out the worst of it. Arm certain a little less. He hesitates. You're down there a while. Did you find anything? You lied to me. What? I was clear about everything. The risk involved. Is that what you mean? Did I say there'd be spiders? And and I'll pay you, of course, for the trouble. Might 15 lift Wharton off his feet. I'll crack your head in two if you lie to me again. <laughs> Wharton scrambles fruitlessly at your, at your arms, his eyes wide with shock. Well, wait. I don't know what you're... He inhales sharply, expression twisting. M maybe I know... I knew where you'd find the bodies. Is that it? I'm sorry. Are you going to be a coward forever? I Call me what you like. That's not, that's not like you're thinking. I didn't force them into that room. I didn't set out to. You don't understand. I tried to help them. I did every day, every single day. I went to that temple and I warned them. I told them that they were playing with fire. Rajak won't be patient forever. And every time they'd shrug it off, like I didn't know what I was talking about. Like I wasn't, like it wasn't costing me coming in to try and help them. I could have been arrested right along, ha right alongside them. What happened? Rajik sent word he was going to have them arrested. Dragged them out, locked them up. They wouldn't listen. The Rectrix said they'd be reborn if anything should happen, and she wasn't afraid. 
I've con I convinced them to hide at least. They have that vault filled with old relics, gold and such. I thought thought they could hide in there, and once the guards left, they'd have something to sell for passage out of the deerwood, back to Adir. When I told the men that the priest had already gone, there the temper sealed. I couldn't get in again. There was nothing I could do. Adir's eyes are wide, disbelieving. Nothing you could do but tell someone. Get the town together, organize a rescue. I'd have dug them out with my own hands if I'd known. There are some of the last decent folk left in this hole. Now we have left us people like you. You worthless bastard, you abandoned them to save your own skin. I told you the way of it, Wharton says, his voice rough. I told you what happened. I guess it's your turn now to make a decision. Uh. You know what? Yeah, we're attacking him. You've escaped justice for a long time, but not today. And fuck your money, I just want you dead. Woo. I'd say that works. Take his armor, his gold coins, and his copper. Rising sun and three dawn stars, a symbol of ethos. Sure. Yeah, that went badly. That went really, really badly. Good lord, what a mess. Now nah, we need to go back to the inn and get some, get some sleep before we go on for the next day. Well, folks, this is going to be it. I have This has probably been like an hour. I don't care. That was awesome. I enjoyed every bit of that. It was horrible. This whole town is horrible. I just, I want to burn this town to the ground. It's full of horrible people that Hail do horrible traveler. things. Oh, God. I'll just get a common room right now. And I need to read up about the sleeping mechanics because I don't know what's going on with those rust bonuses. But, regardless, folks, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I am the Warboss Squee, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.